So I think one of the big challenges um, uh, in this field um, uh, is how uh, laborious it is, how expensive it is, and then the toxicity, unfortunately, that we see in patients. And whereas as a field we've been working on getting better at that, um, I think that um, uh, there will be large advances that really transform um, uh, that area. And in particular, our work has focused on non-genotoxic conditioning, um, uh, which could dramatically improve the entire treatment process uh, by eliminating the chemotherapy and radiation that we give patients today, which causes uh, a lot of significant damage um, uh, that then um, causes uh, long-term effects, but also can uh, trigger things like graft versus host disease and by more targeted approaches that don't inflame the rest of the tissues, but specifically deplete the hematopoietic system to enable a graft to engraft uh, effectively, I think that will be transformative for our field. And we have a number of abstracts um, uh, at this conference where we've seen different types of efficacy in different animal systems. Uh, our group had an abstract uh, showcasing different types of non-genetic toxic conditioning in Fanconi anemia. Uh, and there was another group that uh, showed that in also in mouse models and in non-human primates. And so we're very excited um, uh, to see this continuing to move forward. Um, uh, there is uh, one group already um, showcasing uh, efficacy of a JSP191 agent uh, in patients, and then there's uh, additional uh, groups out there that are making next generation approaches that should be even more powerful, uh, more efficacious, and continue to be extremely safe.